Hi guys, Hilton here, Revolution Bikes, Havelock North. Uh, um, so today I'm going to do probably a 10 minute video on, on half a dozen of our pathway bikes or rail trail bikes, starting with one of our better ones, the Mustache. So a, a French company, just do e-bikes. They do really, really nice e-bikes. These are put together in France. Um, they come to us in a lovely box wrapped in a big blanket. So just some of the basics, it's a Bosch drive. Um, one of the first questions people ask is what motor has it got and where is the motor and then the next question is usually where's the battery so this one being a premium one bosch is the leader bosch mid drive it's these ones have actually got a performance drive in them so a really grunty motor the battery now is in the frame so they've hidden it away so it's quite cute it's the same battery they use on most of the other bikes that can clip on top of the frame but this time they've made the frame wrap around it it just looks nicer it's safer it's stronger it keeps it out of the way it's got a little rain cover you still charge the bike by plugging it in or if you put a key in, pop the battery out, take it inside, charge it that way if you want to. Real simple and we'll run you through all the little bits and pieces. So as with a lot of e-bikes now, complete. Mud guards, carrier, lights, kickstand, really handy. Chain guard on some of them too. Great features that had sort of been lost from a lot of Kiwi bikes. We'd got into a real sports culture and everything had been stripped off them. But now, nowadays, you've got comfortable seats, you've got higher handlebars. It's really baby boomers market, but anyone that wants to be comfortable and ride the trails around Hawke's Bay, this one, mountain bike wheels, mountain bike gears, mountain bike brakes, up at that level where you can really try out all those New Zealand cycle trails all around the country. Um, there, every, every area has got one. There's rail trails down south, there's rail trails up north, there's trails in Rotorua, there's trails in Taupo. All these can be done on this bike, the timber trail even, because it's got its mountain bike features. It's nice, it's comfortable, Comes in different sizes too. Another advantage of the uh, of the higher end bikes, you can choose your size to find the right fit for you. Come and see us. Hi guys, Hilton here, Revolution Bikes uh, again. Another bike on the list of cool pathway um, fun rail trail bikes. <laughs> this is the Cube. This is a German one, guys. Cube's a massive brand over in Germany. Germany's the biggest bike market by far, and Cube's one of the biggest brands. We get this one. A special, um, hard to get, but look look at the step over. Great low step frame, they call it easy entry. You can't get better than that. Um, with these bikes again, another one of the premium bikes. So Bosch driven, you've got an active line motor on the front here, which is nice and light this year. They've really refined that, it's a new motor. The battery's tucked in the back. This is the same battery we had on the previous bike. They're interchangeable, they've got the same chargers. Turn a key, pop it off, charge it up, or plug it in on the bike. Again, complete, so we're running the carriers, mud guards, chain guards, lights, adjustable high handlebars, nice comfy seats, the little spring in the seat here takes out any jarring or juddering that you might get going through a curb or something guys. These are all great features, you're really going to appreciate them. This time though we've got a city wheel, um, it's still got a really big tyre on it so it does our limestone tracks and a bit of gravel really well, but it's a little bit faster than the moustache. Only comes in one colour and that's black, <laughs> just like the old Model T ad. Hi guys, bike number three, Revolution Bikes. This time we've got a Watt Wheels. Um, it's a little company out of Christchurch. The bikes are made overseas, but it's cool. We talk to Brad all the time, and he has quite a bit of input into the design. This is him. He's trying to compete with these nice European bikes we've been selling. Um, so we've gone with the mid-drive again. This time we can't afford Bosch. We've gone Bafang, um, and we've put the battery on the back here. It's, um, it's its own system. It's really cool. A lot of companies now are switching to these Bafang mid-drives. It's a huge company, been around for a long time. It's just one of those Chinese ones that have been making parts for other people. Um, he does this in a couple of colors. This is the pink one. Some people like it. We've got a blue option as well. Same features as before, guys. We've got these lovely big wheels. We've got mud guards, carriers, the lights. We've got kickstands and this great low step, easy entry. These handlebars are great. If you want really, really high upright riding, you want to just sit up and have no weight on your hands and look at the scenery, this is the bike for you. Great seat, little suspension post in there. Helps with the bounces and the bumps and things like that too. Um, not quite as light as the other bikes, they're a little bit higher end, but this one, for the money, really, really great time. Hi guys, Hilton here again. I'm up, I've lost count, bike number four, <laughs> Flying Cat. It's a French brand. They're made in Asia. This is brought in by a friend of ours, uh, Arno. Great guy to deal with. Been doing e-bikes almost the longest of any Kiwi importer. 
We've been doing these bikes for easily eight years. He hasn't changed much. He's just tried to keep them the same, keep the quality up and, uh, and keep the price down. So they're one of our big sellers for a long time. Easy entry, really comfy. All the features of the other bikes. We've just, this time we're going down to the a rear motor. So the motor's in the back wheel here. That just keeps the cost down. It's simpler to manufacture. It makes it easy to run. So like the other bikes, you still get the carries, the mud guards, the chain guards. The lights now just run on batteries. They're not connected to the big battery and things like that. But you know, it's simple, it's easy to use. People love them. Um, we used to look at it as a, as a starter bike. Some people keep them for 10 years, some people flick them over and get a flasher one if they find they're gonna use it lots. But hey, these are great. Um, I think it's got four colors. You can come and choose four colors, but there's only the one size. But it's a nice low bike. It does fit some of the shorter guys out there. Cheers. Guys, bike number five. Um, we've got the Volto this time. This is called the Tui. Again, sort of a New Zealand brand, but made in Asia. Um, been going for probably six or seven years that I know about. We've sold quite a few, they've been really popular. If you're buying a couple of bikes and you haven't got the biggest budget, this is what you want to look at. This fits most people. It's a one size bike, but it's so low and easy to get on and off. People are really happy with it. Again, we've got all those features. It's a pathway bike. We're talking high handlebars, comfy seats. You've got all the features, your mud guards, your lights, your kickstands. There's no chain guard on this one, but it's got a cool derailleur guard to look after it. Um, as we go down in budget, guys, the weight goes up a little bit. So if you're looking for a light one, you might need to spend a bit more. But this one, if you've got a good rack and you're not going to take it on off the car a lot, this one's a great bike. It's easy to ride. Uh, again, we're looking rear wheel drive. We've got the engine in the back wheel there. It frees up, frees up the rest of the frame to be nice and low. Um, and you can also run an accelerator on these ones. So you've got a little throttle. It's a little bit naughty, but it's also a bit of fun. Um, quite good features. Still got Shimano gears and a disc brake on the front, things like that. Um, you know, for again, lots of colors. I think there's five colors for the Tui and maybe four for the other models. Check it out, it's Volto. They're gonna change their name to Evinci. So probably by spring or summer when you come and see us, it'll be the same bike, just a different sticker on the name. Guys, bike number six, E-Benz Torino. One color, one size. This is uh, getting near the bottom of the range for us, guys. It's a cool bike, I like this. If you like the mustache, this is kind of a little cheap copy of it, you know? They've put the battery in the frame. It's still a low step. Um, we don't have the mid-drive now. We've gone back to a, a rear-wheel drive. It just keeps the cost down. But hey, this has got little mountain bike wheels. It's got little disc brakes. You know, this is uh, quite off-roady for a comfortable bike. Um, we've just got the straight bar. The cool thing again with those rear wheel drives, sometimes you get these little features like a little uh, accelerator or an override. It helps you get going if you're in the wrong gear and you just want to start off or it helps you get up that last bit of the hill when you run out of gears and you just need a bit more oomph. So those of you that have a big steep driveway or having trouble getting to the top of the peak, this is an option for you. So cool. So like the others, mud guards, carrier stands, lights, you know, what you'd expect from an old sort of old fashioned bike, I suppose, but with a real modern twist. Um, there is a cute. So again, another New Zealand brand, but made out of Asia. There's a few of these popping up now. Come and see us at a bike shop though and get real advice and test ride things. Jump on them, see if they fit you, see if you're comfortable. We do full backup, we're full service. We're a real bike shop, we're seven days a week. You can talk to us on the phone, it's real people. You can talk, get to us, hold of us online and on Facebook. So revolutionbikes.co.nz. Uh, you can ring us anytime, uh, 877 8477 all that's online. Thanks guys, look forward to seeing you.